Turn us get us started, please. Hey, Moses, tough loss tonight. It, it's never fun to take a loss, but obviously you guys have Tennessee coming up in a few days. How important is it to just have a short-term memory and get back to work? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say have a short-term memory. I mean, I feel like we need to go back and see what we did wrong to correct all the small things and um, um, be ready for the next game. So we got to learn from our loss. Don't forget about it. Nikki. Yeah, Moses, what was Musselman's message at halftime? You know, it was it was still a three-point game. Um, you know, the shots weren't following, falling, but, like, what, what did he tell you guys? Um, was it strategic or, or, or just, you know, keep, keep going after it? I mean, mostly just um, they were playing harder than us in the first half, for sure. Uh, we would have played like we did in the last five minutes. It would have been a completely different game, for sure. But they, were, uh, they played harder than us in the first half, and we just had to match that intensity. And that's, that's the, um, the biggest thing I take from it. Scotty. Moses, the stat system that we look at says that you guys were eight of 30 on layups today. What do you think contributed to those struggles today? I mean, it was a physical game. Uh, you know, we played through a lot of no calls. Some of those could have been called one way or another, but I mean, at the end of the day, we got to finish through contact. So that's another thing that we need to focus on and be ready to perfect next game. Nate? Hey, you're on mute. There we go. Just as far as, as what do you feel you all have to do in these next practices as far as developing some guys with Justin out to uh, to combat what happened today? I mean, everybody has to step up. And um, I mean, one person can't take on Justin's whole whole role. You know, uh, everybody's got to take a piece, get, get a couple extra rebounds, uh, protect, protect the round, and um, just – we got, we, we're going to have to change a little bit the way that we play so far because we've had them thus far. So we got to make those adjustments, those necessary adjustments to uh, prevail in the future. Bob. Hey, Moses, how do you think not having Justin affected you guys? And I guess the initial thought was it wasn't that serious an injury and then to find out he had to have surgery. I mean, how, how big a shock was that for you guys? Yeah, it was, it was definitely a shock. I mean, last game I saw him go down. But I was, I was waiting on him to check back in. I looked over and saw him in the boot. So that, uh, that caught me off guard for sure. But um, I mean, like I said last time, resilience, another man, another man goes down, next man steps up. And then today, you know, you, you're usually a great free throw shooter. I think you were four of eight. You guys were struggling at the rim, three free throws. Just what, what do you think it was? I mean, I don't necessarily have an answer for it. I mean, it just wasn't, wasn't falling a day. I just got to continue to do what I do. Put, uh, put extra reps in and um, get it back online. You know, and I, I asked Eric about the team maybe losing some confidence. He said, hey, I've, I've lost some confidence. I mean, you guys have, have been on such a good roll, 9-0, nine, nine and, and then to, to get beat like this at home. I know they're, they're ranked 12th, but I'm sure you guys expected to win at home. Um, just what, what's the team's confidence level? How do you guys bounce back from this, do you think? Nah, I don't lose no confidence in my team. I feel like, um, I mean, just, just as much, this is uh, – happy as I was about our win last game or the one before that. I mean, I, I feel like we're, we're the same team as we were. Um, just everybody just has to step up, and uh, which I've seen them do at different points during preseason and during the season. So, uh, no, I don't, I don't uh, lose any confidence in my guys. How tough is it that you got to try to bounce back at Tennessee? Look, well, They look like they're the best team in the league, one of the top five in the country. I mean, we the underdogs. That's, uh, if that's Bobby Porter's brand. It is an underdog. So, I mean, we, uh, we just going to take that mentality. And, you know, I don't care what the rankings say, what all that say. They got to they gotta see us when we step when we step between those lines. Uh, I mean, all that other stuff is other people's opinion about what you're going to do. But when, when, it's, when it's game time, it's you and me. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Yes, sir.